Last year, Beijing imposed a ban on tours to South Korea, a move seen as a retaliatory measure following Seoul's deployment of a new missile defense system, which China views as a security threat. While that ban is still not fully lifted, Korea's duty-free shops are seeing record sales this year. Won jong Wan provides a closer look. South Korean duty-free shops saw their sales increase, despite China's continued curbs on group tours to the country. According to data compiled by the Korea Duty-Free Shops Association, duty-free sales reached an all-time high in the January to September period of this year. The total revenue for duty-free shops nationwide reached a whopping 12.9 billion U.S. dollars over the first nine months of the year, exceeding the 12.8 billion posted for the whole of 2017. And the total revenue for October was over 1.4 billion U.S. dollars, the sixth largest monthly revenue in history. This comes despite industry watchers' concern over the decreasing number of Chinese tourists visiting the country after Beijing banned group tours in retaliation for Seoul's deployment of the FAD missile system last year. Korea received 2.17 million Chinese visitors in the January to June period, down 3.7 percent from the first six months of 2017. However, experts say the robust duty-free sales came as individual Chinese vendors who buy duty-free goods then resell them to others have been on a shopping spree in South Korea recently, offsetting the damage from the ban on group tours. Local duty-free shops are anticipating strong performances down the road once Beijing eases its economic retaliation against Seoul. Won Jong-wan, Arirang News.